Hey all, welcome to the prelims of Jamshedpur Management Association's Management Olympiad Health and Sustainability Quiz. I am Vishnu, your quiz master for the day. This quiz is brought to you in association with TACON and Curiosity Knowledge Solutions. So, without any further delay, let's quickly jump to the rules of the prelims. Here are the rules. All the participating teams are requested to open tacon.org slash jma that is t-a-c-k-o-n dot o-r-g slash jma. You can find the link for answer sheet on the web page. Open the link, enter your details and wait for me to start the quiz. There are no negative marks so please feel free to attempt all the 20 questions in the quiz. There is a maximum time limit of 30 seconds for every question. The timer starts as soon as the question is displayed. The top 6 scorers from the prelims will compete against each other in the finals. And remember the questions will not be repeated. So make sure you are concentrating on the screen without googling the answers. So those were the rules for the prelims. Please keep track of the question numbers and make sure that your answers are being entered in the correct field. Here comes the first question of the quiz, an easy one to start with. Here is question number 1. Black buck is the fastest animal in India. The top running speeds of black buck is due to which regionally extinct animal with whom black bucks once shared their ecosystem. 15 seconds to go. We are talking about an animal which is not existing in India anymore. And that animal is the reason why black bucks have their top speeds. That was question number one. Moving on to question number two. What was blamed by former Environment Minister Jairam Ramesh for dwindling all population in India? A very weird reason given by uh, the former uh, Environment Minister for the dwindling all population in India. Look at the picture, that's also a hint there. It's not just any other uh, normal owl, it's some one particular owl. A famous owl if you know it so what was the reason given by Jairam Ramesh that was question number two next question on your screens now according to Albert Einstein if dash were to disappear from the earth human beings would be dead within four years although this line was first used during a protest in 1994 it is often wrongly associated with Albert Einstein Fill in the blank. Which organism are we talking about? 9 more seconds to go. That was question number 3. Question number 4 on your screens now. You simply have to select the correct option and enter the correct answer in the answer field. India is home to the second largest reserves of which plant that was mostly left unharvested until 2017 when it was excluded from the definition of a tree and categorized as grass under the Indian Forest Act. Your options are neem, sundarban mangroves, bamboo and red sand. <laughs> 7 more seconds to go, simply select the correct answer and enter it in the answer field. That was question number 4, moving on to question number 5. Ram Chandra Sharma was the finest sculptor of Jaipur. He was once invited by Dr. P.K. Sethi to teach art as a therapy to polio patients. He was moved by the pain of patients and created something iconic in 1968 in the world of orthopedics. So what was created by Ram Chandra Sharma in the world of orthopedics, very iconic from Jaipur. Three more seconds to go. A very iconic product and a simple answer we are talking about that was question number five question number six on your screens now radiotrophic fungi could be potentially used as a shield from radio radiations during the space flight where was the fungi first discovered in 1991 this was again recently in news for some other reasons for very wrong reasons always in the news for wrong reasons but why, where was it first discovered in 1991? So that was question number 6. A simple name of the place is the answer. Where was this radiotrophic fungi discovered? 
moving on to question number 7 LIGO stands for Lions Dash Institute of Community Ophthalmology which famous uh, organization dealing with eye care fills in the bank, blank here that starts with A so which Indian entity driven by the mission to eradicate needless blindness in the world is behind this institute so a famous eye care organization starting with A is the answer here that was question number seven moving on to question number eight on your screens now all you need to do is to select the correct option and enter it in the answer field the person in picture won rolex award for enterprise for the sustainable silk forming methods which famous company was founded by him your options are air deccan the chennai silks pantaloons and indigo a famous entrepreneur started off his entrepreneurial career from a silk farm in Karnataka which company was founded by him you can see the options on the screen that was question number eight question number nine Australian scientists had created an ultra thin transparent and sprayable sun shield using calcium carbonate aimed at addressing a pressing issue due to a climate change what does this sun shield conserve we are talking about the scientists from Australia created a thin a sun shield of calcium carbonate. What is it aimed at? Five more seconds to go on question number nine. Next question is a video based question. Look at the video and tell me what is being excavated in the clipping. So here is the video. The amount of cement required is extraordinary. For three days they kept pouring until 10 tons of cement had disappeared down the tubes. After a month they begin the excavation. There are subterranean highways connecting the main chambers and off the main routes are side roads. The paths branch and lead to many fungus gardens and rubbish pits. The question is what is being excavated in this clipping? Moving on to question number 11 on the screens now. Charles Lucien Bonaparte was the first to create such practical structure to control temperature and produce agricultural products. Which name given to this kind of structure is often used in discussions about climate change. A very frequently used word in discussions about climate change comes from this structure. Which structure am I talking about? That was question number 11. Question number 12 with options on your screen now. How did this glass pebble beach in Hawaii form? Your options are salt deposits, seabird droppings, oil spill and discarded glass. Simply select the correct answer and enter it in the answer field. You have 15 more seconds to go for a very simple question. Question number 12, please keep track of the question numbers make sure you are entering the correct answers in the correct field five more seconds to go moving on to question number 13 again a multiple choice question in february 2021 a project to build this giant island providing enough energy for three million households was given the green light by which country your options are denmark el salvador new zealand and russia Simply select the correct answer and enter it in the answer field. Question number 13. Seven more seconds to go. Next question. Question number 14 on your screens now. What term is what term is given to claims of environmental sustainability by a brand that are false or misleading, mainly in textile industry? 
that one word answer i'm looking for brands claiming they are sustainable and environment friendly but they are actually not especially this term is used for such claims in the textile industry so which one word term am i ask talking about three more seconds to go on question number 14 moving on to question number 15 again a term related to the environment professor broker was among the first to connect emissions of co2 to raising temperatures back in the 1970s what two word term did he popularize a two word term related to the raising temperatures connected to the emissions of co2 carbon dioxide what term are we talking about five more seconds to go question number 15 we are going on to question number 16 on your screens now This monument was unveiled at Iceland about the death of what if you want me to read what's written on the placard there it says a letter from the future okay is the first icelandic dash to lose its status as dash in the next 200 years all of a dash will be expected to follow the same path this monument is to acknowledge that we know what is happening and we and what needs to be done only you know what if uh, only we only you know what we did so what was this about about the death of what that was question number 16 four more questions to go question number 17 on your screens now earth dash day marks the date when humanity's demand for ecological resources and services in a given year exceeds what earth can regenerate in that year in 2021 it fell on july 29th which day am i talking about earth dash day it fell on july 29th in the previous year that is 2021 so what day are we talking about the day which we exhaust all the resources that earth can produce in that particular year that was question number 17 moving on to question number 18 question number 18 ad of which controversial company in india is this a famous uh, fertilizer company but is also famous for uh, very bad controversy in india so which controversial companies advertisement was this that was question number 18 10 more seconds to go moving on to the penultimate question question number 19 on your screens now according to the documentary sea spiracy one of the greatest threats to our oceans is not from the plastic straws but from dash which discarded accessory used to produce food for millions across the sea coast of the world forms 2.03% of great pacific garbage patch so we are talking about something which is used to produce food for millions across the sea coast of the world it also causes a lot of plastic waste in the sea so which accessory are we talking about that was penultimate question question number 19 we are moving on to the final question question number 20 and remember you'll be getting 30 seconds after question number 20 to submit all your answers you are supposed to submit all your answers in that 30 seconds time frame the su- answers submitted after that will not be accepted so question number 20 the final question of the prelims on your screens now In September 2021, the US administration finalized a climate regulation aimed at slashing the use of powerful HFCs, greenhouse gases by 85% within 15 years. What does HFC stand for? These are greenhouse gases. All of us must have read about this in our schools. So, what does HFC stand for? That was question number 20. 3 more seconds to go. you will be getting 30 seconds after this to submit all your answers your timer starts now
welcome back hope all of you have submitted your answers let's quickly go through the answers of the prelims of health and sustainability quiz so this is the question number one uh, the question was about the reason why black bugs are the fastest animals in india the option uh, bec th that's because of an extinct animal with whom once they shared the ecosystem the answer is cheetah indian cheetah is extinct uh, the last cheetah was killed somewhere around 1948 and there was no cheetah in india after that and government is trying to reintroduce by taking few species from iran but the negotiations negotiations have been going on since like 15 or 16 years let's see what happens next question question number two the answer for this i said look at the owl it is, it is not any other owl but it is a special owl the answer for this is harry potter so at, in harry potter many students will be having owls as the pets after reading the books and looking at the and watching the movies many kids were asking their parents for owls and parents were giving the owls as uh, gifts to the kids on birthdays so jayram ramesh pointed that that was one of the reasons why all population is decreasing in india question number three we're talking about a code usually associated with albert einstein but it was never given by albert albert einstein it was first used in 1994 in a protest so which organism are we talking about uh, which organism is this code related to so it's honeybees more than half of india's cultivated plants depend on pollinators to produce fruits seeds and nuts two-thirds of the fruit yields and 40 percent of our vegetable production happens with the help of insect pollinators like bees so if the bees does not exist most of the fruits and vegetables or all the agricultural products uh, the production of agricultural products will fall down that's the explanation behind that quote often associated with albert einstein but he never said that in his lifetime <coughs> question number four we're talking about a tree which was once uh, which was once categorized as a tree but now it's a grass now the people can go into the forest and cut it and use it for the for making furniture and whatever there are many uses of this particular grass so the answer for this is not neem not red sandal or mangroves the answer is bamboo yes bamboo is a tree a bamboo is a grass scientifically uh, you can read about it uh, there was a very big controversy that all the northeast has a lot of bamboo trees and but most of them are in the forest and as it was uh, considered as a tree people can't go to the forest and cut them so all of it was left unharvested now it is considered as grass so people have permissions to go and cut some of the bamboo trees and trade them next question is about ramachandra sharma from jaipur created something revolutionary in the field of orthopedics it's of course none other than the jaipur foot fungi first found in 1991 the answer is chernobyl it was recently in news because that was the first city which fell to the russian forces during the invasion of uh, ukraine so chernobyl uh, is uh, close to the russian border of ukraine so chernobyl is the answer next question is about an institute uh, lyco what does a stand for here it is named after a famous organization uh, in the field of uh, ophthalmology the answer is Arvind Eye Care. Next question, question number 8. Which company was founded by this gentleman in the picture? The answer is Air Deccan. He is Captain Guru Gopinath. He started his entrepreneurial career after resigning from the Indian Army. He started a silk farm and he, uh, he introduced many innovative systems and he got a prize from Rolex for all these things. Later on he went ahead and created Air Deccan and many other companies. Next question, question number 9. Australian scientists created an ultra thin layer of calcium carbonate. What was this for? The answer is coral reefs. Question number 10. It was about an excavation of something. What was being excavated? The answer is ant colonies. Ant colonies look very small on the top but once you go deep inside they are too huge. So you can see in the video how huge the ant colony was. So they first filled the slab inside that hole and then they excavate it so that they can see how huge it is. Otherwise, it just collapses if you go excavating. You don't know how huge and the architecture of it. And here you can see in the picture a smaller version of a similar ant colony. Next question is about a term often used in uh, 
discussions about climate change named after this structure the answer is greenhouse effect so this is this structure is greenhouse and greenhouse effect explains how uh, how the gases are warming the earth's atmosphere next question is about the formation of a glass pebble beach in hawaii the correct option is discarded glass so glass beach is a beach in eli an industrial area in hawaii that is made of sea glass it is a uh, it is in hapanipi bay near port allen harbor the beach's regular rock is basalt but the sea glass formed after years of discarded glass question number 13 which country came up with this uh, uh, gave a green light to this project the correct answer is denmark the world's first energy island will be as big as 18 football pitches but there are hopes to make it three times that size and next question is about a false claims by companies especially in textile industry the answer for this is green washing and question number 15 is about the professor broker and the term given by him Uh, which connects the emissions of CO2 with the raising temperatures the answer is an easy one which we hear in the news every day that's global warming question number 16 is about death of something commemorated by iceland government the answer is glacier next question question number 17 which day marks the humanity's demand for ecological resources have been exhausted for that particular year the answer is earth overshoot day so that particular day we have already used all the resources which the earth can produce in one year next question a controversial company whose advertisement is this its uh, union carbide controversy is none other than the bhopal gas tra- tragedy question number 19 Uh, which uh, accessory used to produce food for millions across the sea coast is causing a lot of plastic pollution in the seas that is fishing nets question number 20 what does hfc stand for that's uh, hydrofluorocarbons so those were 20 questions of the prelims we'll meet you in the finals all the best vishnu signing off